Ready to succeed. Raid Shadow Legends. My coffee's not as good as I thought it was gonna be addition. <laughs> and we got uh we got Ron Rhonda today, edition. That'll be interesting. Apparently there's a little drama going on. <laughs> I haven't fully caught up yet, but I, I guess Stu came back and made a video that has upset some people. Well, we'll catch up on that at some point. Really? Somebody buying that? Who's buying that? This is... That is not a good solution to the lack of rare books. Just gonna throw that out there. Alright, so let's grab our clan ball stuff. I still don't want to summon... I would like to get Corvus, but again, it's a 10x and... All the same things that we say about a 10x every time there's a 10x now, so... Not a bad haul, I guess. All right, we don't have, like, yeah, three eggs. Has it always been three eggs? Or has it, did it used to be two eggs? I really feel like it used to be two eggs. So they'll adjust that, but not the summon rates. All right, so yeah, the shards just continue to pile up because nothing's been that enticing yet. Let's take a look at Rhonda again real quick and see what's up. So we've got three hitter, extra hit if the target has less than 50% HP. Three hitter, ignore shield and 30% of defense with block passive and block active skills. Okay, we want some accuracy on her I reckon. Maybe two times, increased by 30% if this champion has more than 50% HP. Okay. And then chance to join attacks. And then also puts a shield at the start of each round. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. I mean, I guess we'll start with our savage gear. I don't reckon I'm gonna have a ton of, of good gear at my disposal here, but we'll see. I was like, how do I get to the fitting room? I don't remember. All right. I mean, that one's pretty decent. We could start there, I guess. Crit rate gloves, crit damage, but there's no crit rate on them. I, I think I got that from the event, which is nice. I appreciate them giving me flat set gear. Attack boots. I mean, those are decent, but not for this. I think I'm gonna need speed boots on her. So if it's not boots and gloves, it's got to be everything else. So try that on, I guess. And then we got to find a helmet and a shield. We could find some crit right there. We'll probably find some HP, but we could find some crit right here. Yeah, that's about what we expected. Mm, okay, all right. thing about forcing her on a savage set it's I mean she already ignores a little defense anyway so we'll go crit damage gloves that need a little crit rate in the subs and see what, what we have available probably end up going a broken set I mean I don't know that's decent I guess we could do this too and hit Speed. But that's good. Then it's going to force crit rate on as well, which I guess won't be the end of the world. I mean, there's a divine crit rate set. 
But again, that's kind of forcing it, you know what I mean? How are you going to roll? What are you going to do for me? Almost. You almost did something there. about you? What are you going to do? Double crit right there with attack. All right, that might be the one. That might be the one. And accuracy, sure. All right, so now we're just on gloves. So we need good crit damage, and we do need a pretty good crit rate sub here. So there's double. There's a double. I mean, that might be the one. See what you do, but probably. So that puts her at 77. I still could do her masteries and stuff. I also need to like, you know, level her up and actually build her and all that. But there's attack. Do we have attack with attack percentage? I know that's a big ask. And then do we actually have any that rolled that? There's one. That'll help her shield, I guess. All right, that's fine. Okay, so let's, you know, I feel like, I was gonna say, I feel like force brews are the one category. Oh, she's not force. Why did I think she was force? Sweet. I think we could just brew her straight up then. I really would get a kick out of it if they did for her animation. If you've seen the clip of her shadow boxing, that's like kind of a meme. It would have been pretty great. All right, can we? I think we got enough to get her all the way there too, huh? Sweet. Books will be the issue. Books are like, I'm not 100% sure I want to throw books in her. I'm fine six star in her play around with her. Booking her, I'm not entirely sure I want to do. I'm at three books. She needs, what, four, plus six, seven, eight times ten. Yeah. I don't know if I want to book her. All right, where are you at now? Roll, roll some accuracy. Go accuracy banner. You know? I guess. Man, that turned around, huh? just go attack too and not worry as much because here's the thing she's not i'm not gonna i'm probably not gonna be landing debuffs on like duchess and stuff but it's nice if we can get enough on her to land on like a lot of other champs you know what i mean i have a lot of good resistance banners not so many good accuracy banners which sucks That one, it's like, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of attack out of that, but that is not ideal. That is certainly not ideal. We could see how this one rolls. I guess we'll just focus on her damage for now and then work on getting her in up. All right, and then Matt, I'm not gonna gem her masteries either. I'll, I'll go, we'll, we'll jump into Fire Knight. And, We'll get a look at her there. But I mean, it's a start. And she's ignoring, what, 55% of defense with 
this skill, so that'll be interesting. That's without mastery procs or anything. You know what? That's... Honestly... <laughs> near perfect. That's... That's... That's not bad at all. That's how this should be done. Like if they don't want to put other stuff in the pack, gems and stuff, a champion skin and an avatar for 15 bucks. I feel like you can't be too mad at that. It's a shame, it's a shame that the that the past champs weren't like that, but maybe maybe they've figured it out. Maybe maybe they're trying something out and this will go a lot better and they'll start doing it like this moving forward because that's really not bad at all honestly 15 bucks you get an avatar and a champ skin that's kind of dope i had not considered the avatar thing with it so there you go well done all right let's jump into Minotaur, a Minotaur, and see what she's looking like. All right, um, who in here has? I think he's got full mastery. Let's let's throw him her in for him, and then is she just ally attack in all battles? Huh? All right. I can't remember if I've maxed theirs or not, but either way, we'll. we'll We'll get to see what she's about in here. Let's go to times one and see her animations as well. Watch them in slow motion. She opens with her A2, it looks like, by default. It's pretty cool animation, honestly. Was that just her A1? just jump into a campaign wave and check our animations there yeah we'll, we'll check them out in campaign Right, she's joining in sometimes. In your corner must be what that is. Okay. Let's give her a little bit of crit right here. And a little bit. Wait, do we want to go support tree as well? There might be some stuff in here. Counterattacks and stuff might be interesting. Yeah, we'll hold off. We'll hold off on the other trees because I'm not sure what I want to do yet. So now we've got her at 82%. I'd like to have her a little bit more crit rate, to be honest. Can we do a little better than that? We're doing pretty well everywhere except the armor. That's kind of wild. That... All right, let's go to 10, 10 percentage. Where's that crit rate? But... I don't have that. That doesn't exist on my account as a savage piece. It does as a crit damage piece, though. No, those aren't really particularly interesting.
What are you doing? That's kind of interesting, huh? The question is, can I replace... I, I don't, do I have the savage pieces? Maybe I can steal one. All right, fitting room time. Let's max this, because I'm just going to need to be able to get... Man, that's going to be... Okay, that wouldn't do that. Speed, nice. Okay, so let's try that on. Let's get rid of the filters. I am going to need gloves or boots that are savage. Replace. And then I'm also going to need one of those that are cruel. So we'll keep an eye out. It would be real nice if I could get that. There's no speed. So maybe I can replace that somewhere. Because that would be real nice on someone else. That's a, lo that, that's a really, really nice set of gauntlets right there. That's real nice, dude. Let's let her borrow them at the very least. All right, now we'll, we'll look for boots that are savage. See, now we're, we got plenty of crit rate. We're losing 21, so I'm gonna need some crit rate on these boots. Also, why are they all attack? What are you talking about? Dude, please give me at least a double on crit right here. Don't roll HP. Thank you. Man, it feels like it's so rare these days. Okay, that might solve our problem right there. That keeps her over 100 crit rate. We're over 200 crit damage. We get her some extra ignore defense in there. We do lose some accuracy, but we can fix that with a banner at some point if we really decide we want to. Let's do that. Narma can live without those gloves. They're not affecting her speed or anything. Alright, so let's do a campaign run real quick. And we'll just throw in Rhonda. And we'll go times one. Alright, so let's see what we got going on here. So here's her AoE. Her A2. And her A1. I mean, yeah, they're, they're slow. They did focus a lot on her punching, which I, is a strange route. How fast can she do this? Also, she didn't have books. She'd probably do it faster with books and full masteries. But even with her A1, she's one shot and everything. She's dope, man. They, they focused a lot on her. I, I mean, I was talking with Kyra about this. I guess it would be hard to do animations where she's judo flipping enemies and putting them in arm bars and stuff. But I mean, I guess they really didn't have a lot of options in that regard. But Either way, it's dope. She's she's definitely going to be useful. I don't know if we can keep her alive in here, but we can... Yeah, that team's kind of settled. I don't know if I could just throw her into a random Fire Knight team yet. I'd have to work on that at the higher stages. how this goes. No, in your... Bro, okay. So 
she can deal with Rotos. That's interesting, actually. Something I didn't think about. I would have liked a little more out of that AoE. But I guess the extra ignore defense is only really coming from the A2, huh? So she'll need full masteries to really benefit from the rest of that. Ow. Hey. Are we gonna get soloed by the Steliana? I think I expected a little more out of her AoE, to be honest. Ron, get a lucky crit here. Bro, the counterattacks are gonna piss me off, actually, in real life. It's gonna be I'm gonna be real life pissed off. <laughs> you like that, baby? Yeah, I'll probably try to finish her masteries today. Um, I still don't know how I feel about booking her, just because I want to wait till I do these summons and see if there's someone else. I'm not entirely opposed. Like, if we don't get anything from the shards, maybe I'll book her. But I just kind of want to wait and see if anybody that I really want to have those books comes along. But I think we will try to finish her masteries today. And perhaps I'll throw some glyphs on her and stuff. Um, but she's fun. She seems dope. I feel like she's going to be pretty useful in a few places. Obviously, Fire Knight, she's going to be real, real good. Um, she seems to be a good counter to Rotos, which is cool. Um, she's fun. I think she's dope. I think, they're, I think they're doing a good job with this overall. The 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 skin pack surprised me. 15 bucks for an, an avatar and a skin. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have expected from them. I would have thought it would have been at least 30. You know what I mean? So that's pretty dope. And we do have this big update coming soon. Let's see. Maybe we're in our uh, our good cycle after all here. <sighs> all right, I'm getting out of here. That's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.